Hmm, this thumbnail looks awfully familiar. Anyways, Elon Musk has bought Twitter for $44 billion dollars. And with this news coming out, it comes to no surprise that Twitter went into a frenzy, with terms such as Twitter takeover and leaving Twitter going trending. After the news came out, Elon Musk tweeted out, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter, because that is what free speech means. Laver and Spicer responded him by saying, an African American owner of the largest social media company on earth, this is historic. Addy Gaskill says, I hope you won't become a platform for spreading misinformation as that's not what free speech means. Femi says, One man in charge of the largest communication platform of 7 billion people. Yeah, that's freedom. David Hogg says, Honest question, does that include people attempting to unionize near factories? Count Dankula says, You going to spill the beans on shadow banning and information manipulation algorithms? Randy Mayhem Singer says, It's actually not what free speech means. The 1A protects speech from government interference, still permitted in cases of inciting violence, libel, etc. Twitter is private enterprise, but you know that. Also, didn't you cancel a Tesla order from someone who disagreed with you? Three Year Letterman says, not to fear, Elon. I will be here reminding everyone that Teslas are imported glorified golf carts with little horsepower and that America literally invented free speech through the Declaration of Independence, First Amendment. Max says, If you think Twitter is the modern day public town square, why should it be owned by one single person, much less the richest man on earth? That's inherently authoritarian. We should regulate it as a public utility with First Amendment protections. Sydney Leathers says, Free speech also means committing to not banning sex workers. Your move, Elon. Ashton Pittman says, Decent people aren't going to remain on a platform that you turn into a cesspool of harassers, conspiracy theorists, Nazis, and abusive misogynists, to name a few. You are purposely setting out to destroy this platform to salvage your own man-child ego. The replies to my tweet here are a perfect demonstration of how shitty Elon Musk wants this entire platform to become, an army of his hateful little cult followers. He then shows a reply he got from someone named Holly who said, Shut up. You are not going anywhere, low T boy. Rubber Ninja quote tweets Elon and says, Lol, imagine paying for Twitter. Dr. Matt Walsh says, My four year old pangender child, Stardust, just asked, Matt, if Elon Musk takes control of Twitter, will hate speech be normalized? Is democracy over? Will life even be worth living? I looked at them and replied, Yes, yes, and no. We simply held each other and sobbed. Omni Liberal says, Elon Musk buying Twitter is a huge positive because there's no way for this dog shit platform to get any worse. Ricky Berwick posts this Twitter video captioned, Elon Musk buys Twitter. Hello, I am Elon Musk, and I own Twitter now. You're fucking fired. I believe in free speech, freedom of the press, free Teslas. That's right, everybody gets a free Tesla, because I am Elon Musk, and I own Twitter now. Count Dankula says, 
Twitter is a private company and can do what Elon Musk wants. ContraPoint says, logging into Musker, they are tearing me apart in the quote Musks. Kavos says, I have very little opinion as of now on Elon Musk buying Twitter. I don't think he will save freedom of speech or end cancel culture like the Elon simps are saying, but will be interesting to see what happens. Young Crip says, I'm getting off Twitter this, I'm getting off Twitter that. How about you get off on some bitches instead, nerd? Out of context, Human Race shows an old set of tweets from Elon in December 2017 where he says, I love Twitter. And then David Smith responds, you should buy it then. To which Elon replies, how much is it? Justin Wang says, all of the hashtag buy Twitter people fighting the urge to reply, Sir, this is a Wendy's drive through the day after Elon Musk greenstates Trump's account. Honestly though, it would be pretty funny if all these people migrated to Gap. Sasha shows a tweet from Blair White and captions it by saying, laughing my fucking ass off. In the Blair White tweet she says, I'm going to take a wild guess and say the lefties won't be celebrating an African American man owning one of the largest social media platforms. Sasha makes another tweet to comment on this by saying, this is the first time I've seen someone say this unironically, lol. Jesse Single says, if Canada buys Elon Musk, I am moving to Twitter. Dividend Hero says, Elon Musk was able to buy Twitter because he doesn't spend $5 on coffee every day. Mudahar says, well, he bought Twitter, laughing my ass off. Javroar says, no, Elon Musk, what have you done? Showing that an account called Strong Good just said, nigger, it's good to be back. Faze Blaze tweets out, no shot, Elon added this already, showing that when you press the like button, it turns into a Tesla symbol. RY says, I swear, Elon bought Twitter just to delete this tweet. He then shows a tweet he made last year that says, who gave Elon Musk a Chromadia Oreo? Mariano says, no one leaving Twitter if Elon Musk buys it, lol. Where are y'all gonna go? Facebook? This is how people that say outside think they look. River Butcher says, remember like two weeks ago when Elon was like, tell me how to end world hunger and I'll do it. And then he bought Twitter for 44 billion instead. Lil Nas X says, I can't believe Elon bought Twitter before me. My entire career has been an attempt to raise money to buy it. Mashia says, Elon Musk spending 44 billion on an app where a shrimp fried this rice goes viral every week. Drew Gooden says, Oh, so Elon can spend 44 billion on Twitter, but he couldn't have forked over like 200 bucks to save the Jeremy Rinner app? Unreal, dude. No Nothing TV says, Remember when Elon Musk called a rescue driver who was in the process of saving 12 children a pedo because he didn't like Musk's proposal of child-sized submarines would help? And then he tried to anonymously leak false evidence of the hero being a child rapist to BuzzFeed? Thinking about all those times Elon Musk fanboys tried explaining to me that Musk couldn't give money to charity because his money wasn't liquid. Steven Selmer says, The amount Elon Musk just paid for Twitter, 44 billion, is nearly equal to Biden's proposed climate budget. 44.9 billion. In case anyone's wondering how seriously we're taking the climate crisis. Matt Oswalt says, People worried Elon Musk will ruin Twitter, a website whose major accomplishments over 16 years are creating then destroying Chrissy Teigen and getting Brooklyn Nine-Nine a sixth season. Scott Pressler says, Zuckerberg buys thousands of acres in Hawaii. Democrats don't care. Gates buys thousands of acres of farmland. Democrats don't care. Bezos buys Washington Post. Democrats don't care. Elon Musk buys Twitter to make it a free speech platform. Democrats. Fascism! Average 5 enjoyer says, if Elon Musk owns Twitter, I'm going back to Tumblr. You will? Doink Patrol says, can't really explain it but Elon buying Twitter is huge Jimmy Presto energy. Nopify says, one more why did Elon Musk buy Twitter if it's free joke and I'm going to fucking lose it. Ben Shapiro says, Elon Musk has committed nothing except more transparency and more free speech and the left is melting down, which shows two things. One, they hate transparency and free speech. Two, they always assume Twitter opposed both. Then gaslit everyone that said Twitter wasn't biased. Chrissy Mayers says, 
My four-year-old transgender Chinese daughter asked me, if Elon Musk buys Twitter, will Z be reported to a concentration camp? I choked back tears, thinking about how white supremacy led us to this moment, and continued to feed Zer their grape-flavored hormone blockers. Libs of TikTok says, Mash up. Libs aren't coping well with Elon Musk buying Twitter. A dozen people already deactivated their accounts. How will Elon ever recover from this? Well, it looks like Twitter's gone. They accepted the money and Elon Stalin is taking over. So fuck you, Twitter, and goodbye forever, you insane Q-like forum. Or soon to be insane like Q-like forum. Peace out. Bye. Elon Musk, this is directly to you. Enjoy Twitter. I just deactivated mine. I will not be reactivating it. Enjoy. I deactivated my account and deleted the app. That's what I think of it. Fuck Elon Musk. Today, Twitter has announced that they've been bought by Elon Musk, or however you say his name. Um, I'm not interested in staying on Twitter anymore because of this. And I think there's a lot of people that are about to leave. So I just wanted to let everyone know that you can find me here. I'm going to also share this on Twitter before I deactivate my account so that anyone who wants to follow me can find me here as well. Hey, I did a thing today. I deactivated my Twitter account. You can too. Girl Tyler says, Twitter next week with Elon Musk in charge. Robert says, If you think Elon Musk buying Twitter is scary, wait till you hear about Bill Gates buying up all our farmland. Hidiki says, Women are stronger than Elon Musk. Oliver says, I had a run-in with Elon Musk a few years ago. Is this really the guy you want running Twitter? He then tells a story by saying, I once saw Elon Musk at a grocery store in Pittsburgh a few years ago. I told him how cool it was to meet him in person, but I didn't want to be a douche and bother him and ask him for photos or anything. He said, oh, like you were doing now? I was taken aback. And all I could say was, huh? But he kept cutting me off and going, huh, huh, huh? And closing his hand shut in front of my face. I walked away and continued with my shopping, and I heard him chuckle as I walked off. When I came to pay for my stuff up front, I saw him walking out the doors with like 15 Milky Ways in his hands without paying. The girl at the counter was very nice about it and professional, and was like, Sir, you need to pay for those first. At first, he kept pretending to be tired and not hear her, but eventually turned back around and brought them to the counter. When she took one of the bars and started scanning it multiple times, he stopped her and told her to scan them each individually, to prevent any electric confederants, and then turned around and winked at me. I don't even think that's a word. After she scanned each bar and put them in a bag, and started to say the price, he kept interrupting her by yawning really loudly. Game Animani shows a clip of Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan podcast with the caption, Elon Musk and Twitter and Employee reinstate Alex Jones' account live on Joe Rogan's podcast. Are you ready for Alex Jones? Sure. <laughs> Fine. All right. Oh, well, I've been ready for Let Alex me Jones. Up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. They're fucking killing already more kids, so you're telling me it isn't real when they had a fucking vote in the goddamn fucking Senate? Chris Freeman says, the Elon Musk could have solved problems X, Y, and Z with the 44 billion he spent on Twitter discourse is tiresome considering the government spent nearly 7 trillion last year and it didn't solve world hunger, climate change, etc. Liz says, if Elon Musk buying Twitter has any sort of significance in your life, log off and go outside. Rap TV says, young boy fans when Elon deletes all the bots. Gabe says, with 40 billion dollars, Elon could have given each of the 330 million people people living in America a million dollars, and still had seven billion left over. Why aren't more people talking about this? E says, if Elon Musk restores my right to tell anyone to kill themselves on this app, I can look past the child slavery. Misty says, instead of leaving Twitter, we should all block Elon Musk. Hurt Copain says, dudes, Elon Musk will literally buy a free app for $43 billion before they end world hunger. Rana says, since this is probably the last day I can tweet this, can I remind folks that Elon Musk is a union busting billionaire who inherited money from his dad's apartheid era emerald mines? Tax the rich plus unionize Twitter now. Robert Reach says, Zuckerberg owns Facebook, Instagram, and 
WhatsApp. Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post. Elon Musk owns Twitter. When multi-billionaires take control of our most vital platforms for communication, it's not a win for free speech. It's a win for oligarchy. Mayo says, Worshipping Elon Musk is fucking weird. Didi says, Elon Musk about to suspend every account with pronouns in their bio. Zeke Arkham says, Sean King hates Elon Musk because Elon Musk is something Sean will never be. African American. Jimmy says, Elon Musk is buying Twitter and everyone freaking out drives a Tesla. There's never been a dumber time to be alive. Ryan Cooper says, No idea what Elon is going to do with this thing, but it is pretty alarming that one dude can spend the GDP of Botswana and buy up a central global artery of communications on a random whim. First Mate Prance says, Elon Musk spending $43 billion to stop getting bullied on Twitter when he could have simply been less annoying is insane. Lex Fridman says, Elon Musk acquiring Twitter is a big win for free speech. Sagar tweets out, Vigia Gad, the top censorship advocate at Twitter, who famously gaslit the world on Joe Rogan's podcast and censored the Hunter Biden laptop story, is very upset about the Elon Musk takeover. He then shows an article with the headline, Twitter's top lawyer reassures staff, cries during meeting about Musk takeover. Vijay Gad, a key executive involved in decisions to remove former President Donald Trump and ban political advertising, expressed uncertainty about the future of the platform. Elon Musk responded to this tweet by saying, suspending the Twitter account of a major news organization for publishing a truthful story was obviously incredibly inappropriate. Aaron Levy says, Elon Musk has decided he'd like to be the only human that can be called to Congress for up to 63 different topics. Topics. Elon Musk responds with a star eyes emoji. Elon Musk then tweets out, yes, along with a statement that says, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square, where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated, said Mr. Musk. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and community of users to unlock it. Dream responds to Elon by saying, The bots are going to remember this, Elon. They thought you were on their side. Now you just declared war. Soon. Not their daddy anymore. Tommy in it then edits his tweet to just say daddy, to which Dream responds with question marks, and Velvet is cake responds by saying, Daddy Dream makes me scream. Mr. Beast responds to Elon by saying, this is going to be so interesting. Matthew replies, who are you? To which Mr. Beast says, ratio. Mr. Beast responds to a removed reply to Elon Musk by saying, hey spam, enjoy your last few days before being yeeted, lol. And then equip GG responds by saying, aged well, showing that the bot that he responded to has been removed. Sir Doge of the coin responds to Elon by taking his tweet and having a bunch of major companies respond to it by saying, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Elon responds by saying, Saying, can someone please give the NPCs a bigger dialogue tree? Elon then tweets out, The extreme antibody reaction from those who fear free speech says it all. By free speech, I simply mean that which matches the law. I am against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less free speech, they will ask government to pass laws to that effect. Therefore, going beyond the law is contrary to the will of the people. Leafy responds by saying, Please bring back at Leafy, I have a Model 3! Ben Shapiro says, At Elon Musk, Twitter should be politically neutral. Wapu in every left wing blue checkmark. Reeeeee! You guys are giving away your game. Elon Musk replies, Attacks are coming thick and fast, primarily from the left, which is no surprise. However, I should be clear that the right will probably be a little unhappy too. My goal is to maximize area under the curve of total human happiness, which means the approximately 80% of people in the middle. Elon continues tweeting when he says, For Twitter to deserve public trust, it must be politically neutral, which effectively means upsetting the far right and the far left equally. Dick Costello says, Bullying is not censorship. To which Elon responds, what are you talking about? I'm just saying Twitter needs to be politically neutral. And that's about it for the overall response to Elon Musk acquiring Twitter. Obviously, with Elon Musk being such a well-known figure, and this news being directly related to the platform as a whole, there was a lot more tweets that I didn't end up covering, but the video has to end somewhere, and theoretically, I could make a 10-hour video or longer reading tweets with how many there are about Elon Musk. But for now, I think I will just end off this video by sharing a thread from the founder of Twitter, Jack, where he addresses Elon Musk buying his platform. He tweets out, 
I love Twitter. Twitter is the closest thing we have to a global consciousness. The idea and service is all that matters to me, and I will do whatever it takes to protect both. Twitter as a company has always been my sole issue and my biggest regret. It has been owned by Wall Street and the ad model. Taking it back from Wall Street is the correct first step. In principle, I don't believe anyone should own or run Twitter. It wants to be a public good at a protocol level, not a company. Solving for the problem of it being a company, however, Elon is the singular solution I trust. I trust his mission to extend the light of consciousness. Elon's goal of creating a platform that is maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is the right one, and is also Paragas' goal, and why I chose him. Thank you both for getting the company out of an impossible situation. This is the right path. I believe it with all my heart. I'm so happy Twitter will continue to serve the public conversation, around the world and into the stars. And just like Jack, I'm also happy that Twitter will continue to serve the public conversation, as I can then read those conversations to post onto my YouTube channel. And if you don't want to miss more videos of mine reading tweets, be sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on. You can also follow me on my own Twitter to keep up to date with what I'm doing over there, and check out my Twitch channel if you want to see even more of me. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.